Philippine Air Force's decision to shortlist the Saab Gripen and Lockheed Martin F-16 Block 7072nds Viper for its multi-role fighter acquisition is a significant development in the region. This decision, amidst a broader review of the KF-21 Gourmet, Dassault Rafale, Eurofighter Typhoon, and HAL Tejas MK-1A, underscores the complexity of the PAF's modernization efforts. The Gripen and F-16 represent two distinct yet compelling options for the PAF. The Gripen, known for its affordability, flexibility, and ease of maintenance, offers a strong value proposition. Its ability to operate from shorter runways and its advanced avionics make it a suitable candidate for the PAF's operational requirements. The F-16, on the other hand, is a battle-proven platform with a long and successful history. The Block 7070 seconds variant, with its advanced ELISA radar and conformal fuel tanks, offers a significant upgrade in terms of capabilities. The F-16's compatibility with other US-made equipment could also streamline logistics and maintenance for the PAF. The decision to shortlist these two aircraft reflects several factors. Interoperability. Both the Gripen and F-16 offer varying degrees of interoperability with other Western aircraft and systems, which is crucial for a country seeking to enhance its defense partnerships. Cost. While both aircraft are expensive, the Gripen is often touted as a more affordable option, especially considering its life cycle costs. Capabilities. Both aircraft offer a robust suite of capabilities, including air-to-air -air combat, air-to-ground strike, and electronic warfare. Political considerations. The Philippines' strategic alignment with the United States and the growing defense cooperation with South Korea could influence the final decision. The inclusion of the KF-21 Boromay, Rafale, Typhoon, and Tejas MK-1A in the initial review highlights the competitive nature of the global fighter jet market. Each of these aircraft offers unique advantages and caters to different operational requirements. The KF-21, for instance, represents a strategic investment in a regional defense initiative and could strengthen ties between the Philippines and South Korea. The PAF's ultimate decision will depend on a careful evaluation of various factors, including budgetary constraints, the cost of acquiring and maintaining these aircraft is a significant consideration. Operational requirements. The PAF-specific needs, such as range, payload, and mission profile, will influence the choice. Technical compatibility. The aircraft must be able to integrate seamlessly with the PAF's existing systems and infrastructure. Political considerations. The broader geopolitical landscape and the Philippines' defense partnerships will play a role in the decision-making process. As a Filipino military enthusiast, I am excited about the prospect of the PAF acquiring a new generation of fighter jets. Regardless of which aircraft is selected, this acquisition will significantly enhance the PAF's capabilities and contribute to regional security. The decision will have far-reaching implications for the Philippines' defense posture and its relationships with key partners.